My favorite part about doing the show so far has been the people. Everyone involved has been so nice and kind. Um, I don't think there's been a single rehearsal that we've had that there hasn't been a genuine laugh. The end of the show is about you know, about a play falling apart. And that in and of itself is a lot of fun. You know, it's a lot of fun. You know, making mistakes and screwing up is, is a fun thing to do. And, you know, what a, and also the challenge of what else can we do to, you know, really amp it up and really, and not only have it mess up, but have it really mess up. The most enjoyable part of working on this production has been the cast and being able to work along so many um, successful actors in our community here in Rhode Island. Um, they're really wonderful, very funny people. Uh, they make me laugh on stage all the time, as they know. Um, and it's just, it's a really good feel and a good vibe every time I come to rehearsal. I want you to go off stage and I don't want to see you or hear you again until we finish rehearsing this act, okay? I think the most challenging aspect of playing Jerry, the frustrated director, is trying to find a balance between being really angry and cranky and likable. Um, because I want the audience to like Jerry in spite of all her frustrations with the, the, the play. So my biggest challenge so far has been turning off the stage manager in me. Um, I'm usually a stage manager for shows, and Greg cast me as the stage manager in the show, and it's not typecasting, and it's totally fine, I'm not mad about it. Um, but it's really hard for me to turn that part off and separate Bethany, the stage manager, from Aggie, the stage manager. The most challenging part about doing this show uh, has been learning the lines. There's no such thing as a curse. And yet anyone who has ever owned the deli the ruby, oh, wait a second, I've got it. The Darjeeling Diamond has always been met with a dreadful demise. I usually do musicals, so this is my first regular play in a while, uh, in about 10 years, so it's been a long time since I've been able to learn, uh, you know, just regular old dialogue. Oh, Stefan. Oh, Diana. Oh, Stefan. Oh, Diana. Oh, Stefan. Oh, Diana. Oh, Stefan. Oh, Diana. So one thing that's not been a challenge has been the cast. The cast has been amazing. They, uh, and these are people that, uh, the majority of which I really haven't worked with before, which is, uh, which is always fun for me. Uh, you know, some people I've worked with, you know, going back a long ways and some people never worked with before. Uh, but everyone gets along and everyone's clicking. Everyone who's come in to see a rehearsal has said, oh my God, they have a lot of chemistry. I'm like, yeah, they do. Nervousness gives a player energy. Well, nervousness is giving this player creeping paralysis. I hope that the audience is able to see how fun it really is to be part of a community theater production. Like, we just get to be goofballs, be ourselves, and enjoy the like, you know, ephemeral magic that we make on stage together, even if we're messing up, even if we are breaking down, crying, and like losing our minds over all of the types of hijinks that we get into here. Went out with a, with a couple of friends once and they were just wanted to hear every theater story that I had. They were fascinated by it. And this is th th that sort of show where you just see, you see how the sausage is made and see all the frustrations and all of the, the, the bits and pieces that go into it. And that's just, that's kind of just fun and it, it done in a funny way. I think the theater people in the audience are really going to get a kick out of this play because they'll really be able to relate to it. But I also think that the um, non-theater people will find it very humorous. Oh, God damn it! I, I, oh, God. It's a great, great show. It's very entertaining. Um, it's very funny. I think the cast uh, does a wonderful job of bringing out the comedy within the piece. Um, so I really hope that the audience just enjoys uh, the good time that we have on stage. We spend so much time talking about how all of the things that have happened or will happen in the show have happened to us outside of the show in rehearsals for other shows. Um, so even if you're not a theater person, this show will really make you feel like you are.